Israel and the United States defiant as the world's top war crimes court seeks arrest warrants for Israeli and Hamas leaders over their actions throughout the ongoing war in the Middle East. WFXR's Marion Rafferty takes a closer look at the strong reactions as, as U.S. anti-war protesters continue calling for their universities to divest from companies supporting Israel. Reactions continue pouring in after the International Criminal Court's chief prosecutor announced Monday he is seeking arrest warrants for several Hamas and Israeli leaders, including Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. The men stand accused of committing war crimes in Israel and the Gaza Strip. The ICC has no jurisdiction over Israel. Israel's president calling the ICC's move a one-sided step that emboldens terrorists. We will not forget who started this war. With President Joe Biden also condemning the arrest warrants. Contrary to allegations against Israel made by the International Court of Justice, what's happening is not genocide. Israelis in Tel Aviv offering up mixed opinions. I want the hostages to return alive as soon as possible. If this arrest warrant or an arrest that will follow it, I don't know what will expedite it. I am in favor of it. I don't understand in what world we are living in where there is symmetry between leaders of a terror organization who committed mass slaughter to heads of state who were elected in a democratic way. As displaced Palestinians in Gaza are seeking an end to the airstrikes. We want international resolutions that are decisive. This all comes as anti-war protests continue dominating college campuses here in the U.S., with students at Drexel University in Philadelphia refusing calls to disband their encampment. Drexel University's campus remained on lockdown Monday, but some classes are resuming in-person learning Tuesday. Marianne Rafferty, WFXR News.